everybody. This is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for today's devotional. We're in Acts chapter 12. I'm going to be reading verses 4 through 5. It reads, And when they had seized him, that's Peter, he put him in prison, delivered him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending after the Passover to bring him out to the people. So Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. Now, we got to note here that this is just a little bit overkill for even King Agrippa. Four squads would be a total of 16 soldiers assigned to one man who had basically done nothing violent. Remember, that's 16 men to watch one pretty peaceful man for one single night. Four soldiers were assigned to him at a time. They never left his presence. Two guarded the entrance to a cell and two were chained to him at all times. And then they rotated post every six hours. Yet, it's that last line that's going to outdo anything that King Agrippa can do. It's this. It reads, But earnest prayer was made for him to God by the church. You know, in tomorrow's devotional, we are going to see the results of this earnest prayer. But let's not skip past the note here that there are believers out there battling it out in prayer for one man, Peter. And you should know, the theme of persistent prayer through persecution continues throughout the book of Acts. First, it's persecution. Then second comes prayer. Then third, salvation. And it just keeps repeating over and over and over again. So, if you're presently living in prison by some hopeless situation, shackled by impossible odds, why are you trying to handle it on your own? Stop that. <laughs> Get honest. Get open. Get vulnerable. Ask someone to pray for you. Shoot, I'll pray for you. Hit that need prayer button on my website. If you want relief, there's only one way to get the relief you need. And it's not by doing it all yourself. It's by asking the only one who might be able to help you. And that's God. Fellas, thanks for joining me for this devotional day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, hit that share button, that like button, hit that subscribe button. Just share the Devo with someone you know. I appreciate it. It's going to help you as well. And I'm serious about prayer. If you need prayer, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll be praying for you, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.